Hey y'all, it's your girl T. Um, I can only be me. Hey, 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 hey. Look, the light gonna turn off on me trying to steal my shine. Don't do me like that. Don't do me. Do not do me. Okay. Just trying to steal my shine, y'all. I'm happy today. Okay. So, welcome, welcome, welcome to all, to my channel, to all my new subscribers, and welcome back all my old subscribers, y'all. I'm going to show y'all how I do my cabbages. So, let's go on and get to it because I don't want the video to be long, you know, because I told y'all I'd be having trouble getting these videos and stuff off my phone, huh? I ain't got time for this phone. I got to get me a camera, okay? I really do. I got to get me a camera. So, you know, if y'all want to help your girl out and get a camera, then go ahead on, you know, the P.O. PO box is in the description, you know, y'all can just send your girl something to help me out, you know. <laughs> I was just playing, I was just playing, y'all. But I'm for real if you want to now, I ain't gonna turn down no blessing, okay? Okay, y'all, so, what I have in this broth, right, this is the broth for me, boiling the net bones, and this is all the liquid I'm gonna have. These cabbages gonna have some water today. I ain't gonna do the fried cabbages because my husband, he don't care too much for the fried cabbages. So, you know, I'm just catering to him today, you know, giving him what he like because cabbage is his favorite. So, I'm giving him what he like. So, anyway, in this water, I have some celery salt. I already put it in there, y'all, because I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do this part for y'all because I, you know, I'm a connection and everything was acting up and. I couldn't upload the video, then my cable went out, and I was having all kind of problems, so I'm sorry, y'all, but I did season my water first with the celery salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, chicken base seasoning, and Tony's Creole seasoning. Okay, that's what all I got in there, okay? Now, this is my cabbages that I be um cooking and freezing, y'all. And I don't cook them all the way. So, this is what they look like when I take them out. They're not mushy or nothing. So, I'm going to just take them. And, I'm, of course, they got some liquid because I put liquid in them to um in the bottom of them when I froze them. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I never did it without it. So, that's what I do. Okay. So, I'm just putting those on over in there. And I'm not going to add the liquid from the other ones. Okay, so now I got all my seasonings and everything. And then I got my cabbages in here. And so I'm just going to turn them down on low because they pretty much done. And I'm just going to let these finish cooking slowly. And this is how I do my cabbages. Now I will come back when they done. If you want to, like the meat that I bought, they didn't have the meat that I wanted. So... I, I use bacon, I use smoked um, 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 neck bones and, and stuff like that. But the thing about it is, is none of that meat keep its flavor after you've been uncooked it. I know I could leave it in this pot, you know, for, um, I know I could leave it in the pot, you know, for people to eat it. But this is a Sunday dinner video, right? And y'all just getting this little portion of it. So if you want to see okay for those of you that don't know okay these are my llama beans and this pot is full of meat y'all so they ain't miss not on no meat so if they want some they can get some right there and add it to their plate okay so i just um i'm doing it like this okay because the meat that i like to use is smoked turkey tails and even after you boil that meat honey it still have flavor so this is what I'm using. All right, y'all, so I'll be back. When this is finished, I'm going to just put my lid on here, and I'm going to just let this finish cooking slowly. That ain't it, y'all. I forgot. I got to add my bacon grease to this. Deal. Now, this is my bacon grease, and I'm going to add me some bacon grease to this. And then mix that in, and that's it. Now I'm done. Okay? Okay, y'all, I'm checking my cabbages. And um, I decided to come on on and show y'all. I added just a little bit more salt to this. And um, just a little to tap, just a little sprinkle of sugar. Y'all know what you do when you cook greens and stuff. You add just that little sprinkle of sugar. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Oh, let me let y'all taste it. I blowed it off for you. Y'all see it? Got some? Okay, what does it taste like? It needs some more seasoning, you think? Oh, they taste good? Okay. Hold on, let me see. Mmm! Mm, 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 they good, y'all. Y'all know what y'all be talking about, honey. They good, child. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these off and let them sit back there because they are done. I told y'all it was already done from the get go, so ain't no need of you know cooking them to a mush. So put that lid on them and turn them off, okay. So now, that's it for the cabbages, all right, y'all? I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching my video. I hope you learned something about my frozen cabbages and learned how to cook them or whatever and how to pretty much make some cabbages. There's different kind of ways that you can make cabbages. There isn't one particular way. I make my cabbages all different kind of ways, but this way in particular is how my husband like them. And if I would have had a different kind of the meat that I like, I would have left them in there instead of eating them, okay? But... Thank y'all for watching my video. This your girl Tiana. I can with me. Y'all be blessed, okay? Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. And don't forget before you leave to hit that subscribe button if you like this um uh, this video, okay? All right, y'all.